bikes fall over, but when they're moving, not so much. Um, and it's not just your primitive monkey skills that keep the bike from falling. There's some real forces at work that tend to keep it upright. And to understand the first one, let's talk about the bike as it's falling over when it's stationary. In that case, it rotates somewhere near the road and just moves like this. Well, it's doing that, it's doing that because the weight of the mass, this big lump up here on top of the seat, has a, has a weight and it creates an overturning moment, bringing it down. But it can't go straight down because friction at the road surface is holding the tires in place and so it rotates down and mostly we get the bike picking up speed accelerating in the side direction. At the same time the force at the road is increasing because it has to balance this acceleration. Now when the bike is moving we have the same forces but the, uh, the entire bike is free to move because uh, the road is moving and it can pick whatever location it wants. Um, and so it's, it's moving forward and it's also moving sideways like this rather than falling. Now that would be great. Um, we should be able to make a bike with a with a fixed head, and it should stand up, but it doesn't. And the reason is, when the bike is is moving like that, we we have a, a velocity vector off to the right, not no longer aligned with the frame, and that generates slip angles at both wheels. Um, slip angle is is an angle between the plane of the wheel and the direction it's traveling. If, uh, if a wheel is, is turned to the right, uh, it tends to move that way because there is a force at the road pushing it that way. In this case, the velocity is to the right and the force is to the left, which is just opposite of the camber forces. Now this would be a problem for a fixed head, but because this bike has a, an axis that the front wheel can rotate about, and it's predisposed to turn in the direction it's falling because of the trail, the front wheel will just follow the velocity vector. It doesn't really steer, it's steered. The back wheel, however, does steer because it cannot follow that vector. It's lagging behind and the force is still pushing it out. So the bike is moving to the right and it'll, it'll um, go back to upright when it comes over center again.